am Jennifer Ferguson with Instant Weather Ontario. What a storm we had yesterday and on Sunday. We're going to recap all the details we have from that system. As well, we're going to look at some details for a system moving into place for tomorrow. That's all coming up on today's video. had a major winter storm on Sunday and yesterday on Monday as well. What an impact that had for a lot of us. Blizzard conditions, strong winds, heavy snow, freezing rain, even some thunderstorms. A crazy system that just moved through for us. We have a lot of pictures that were sent in on social media and we want to show you a few of those right now. that I did have a little bit of snow envy from this last system. It seems a few systems this year, we were expecting more snow and we're just east of Peterborough. And we are in this little bubble where we get protected. We hardly had any accumulation at all. So I was a little jealous of a lot of you with uh, quite a bit of snow that you received. I'm looking at some totals right now. Wawa, Capus Casing, Chapleau, all getting 30 centimeters of snow. Marathon, 33. Sault Ste. Marie, 29 centimeters. Geraldton, 19 centimeters of snow. And I know a lot of you did get quite a bit of snow, maybe not that much, but I wish we did get a little bit more here, but we do have a bit on the ground. Anyways, one thing we did see, and I'm sure you did as well, we were all impacted by those strong winds, very strong wind gusts yesterday. I'm very thankful that our power didn't go out this time. We're looking at uh, some totals here and wind gusts in Port Coburn went 128 kilometers an hour, Long Point 124 kilometers an hour, Western Island, 115 kilometers an hour, Baden 109, Vineland 104, Chatham, Kent, St. Catharines and Waterloo Airport, all almost 100 kilometers an hour. And the rest of us between 80 and 90 kilometer an hour wind gusts. So very windy yesterday. I wanna take a quick minute and thank all the first responders and hydro crews and everybody who was working overtime yesterday because of the road closures and the power outages and the impact that this storm had. Thank you very much for all the extra work that you put in yesterday. Now I have great Great news in the forecast for everyone today. If you do not like snow, then we do not have any snow today. It is a beautiful day out here. And if you do like snow, well, we're getting more snow tomorrow. So it's great forecast for you as well. And it is Wednesday and if history is any indication, then we should probably have a storm on a Wednesday. It's not going to have the impact that the last one had. We are going to see a little bit of impact during the morning and especially in the afternoon commute, but definitely not like we saw yesterday. So it starts early in the morning for southwestern Ontario along the shores of Lake Huron. It starts as light, wet snow, and then it's going to transition into some heavier snow around noon and ending around dinner for those areas. For Kitchener-Waterloo, GTA, Hamilton, starting around the morning commute, again, light, wet snow, and then you're going to see it transition into heavier snow around noon, lasting for about four hours. The biggest impact will be on the afternoon and evening commute, and then that's going to taper off in the evening hours. And then for central and eastern Ontario, starting around noon, same sort of thing, light, wet snow, transitioning to heavier snow and then ending later in the evening. It's about a 12 hour system before it moves out of the area. Now, as far as snow accumulation is concerned, we're gonna take a look at those maps now. The heaviest hit area will be the Golden Horseshoe, Oakville, Mississauga, Burlington, Hamilton, where lake enhancement could mean locally higher amounts. So those areas could see 17 to 25 centimeters of snow. And then for Oshawa, Vaughan, Orangeville, Shelburne, Fergus, KW, Guelph, Brantford, possibly Niagara and St. Catharines, 15 to 22 centimeters of snow. Tilsonburg, London, Stratford, Mount Forest, Hanover, Collingwood, possibly all looking at about 10 to 17 centimeters of snow. And then along the shores of Lake Huron and into southwestern Ontario, 5 to 12 centimeters of snow. And a little bit further north for Newmarket, Keswick, Lindsay, Peterborough, Belleville, Kingston, looking at 10 to 17 centimeters of snow. And then for Gravenhurst, Apsley, oh, we've got some snowmobilers passing. Look 
Let's start taking a look at that map again. So for Gravenhurst and Apsley, Halliburton, Bon Echo, Brockville, those areas, again, five to 12 centimeters of snow and less as you move further north again. So not as much of an impact as we had from yesterday or on Monday, a little bit of snow moving into the area. Hopefully we get a little bit more snow here for me and for those snowmobilers. For Instant Weather Ontario, I hope you have a great day. I'm Jennifer Ferguson.